I'm glad you're here. I have some good news for you. There's three fundamental spiritual tests you should know before it's too late. Yes, three fundamental spiritual tests you should know before it's too late. Before it's too late to give up on your dream. Albert Einstein said, the dream, the imagination is everything. It's a preview of life's coming attractions, your dream that God has given you in your heart is a preview of your life's coming attractions. I have some really good news for you. I have a message that's really going to help you see things crystal clear. The test of letting go of something you love. The moment your eyes open in the morning, you're not just waking up to a new day. You're waking up to a higher purpose, a deeper calling that goes beyond the limits of this physical world. You are a spiritual being on a spiritual journey, and your life is far grander than you can even imagine. That's the magic of existence. However, this grand spiritual journey comes with its own set of challenges, and one of the most significant is attachment. We all have things or people that we hold dear, treasures that we clutch close to our hearts. It could be a person, a possession, a job, or even an idea. While love and attachment are natural human emotions, they become problematic when they shift into idolization. Anything you become so attached to that you feel you can't live without turns into an idol, a distraction steering you away from your true purpose. It's in these moments, when you profess your inability to live without something, that the universe listens intently. It's like ringing a bell in the spiritual realm. You're essentially calling forth a lesson you need to learn. Spiritual tests are the universe's way of checking where your heart truly lies. Are you committed to your higher calling? Or are you entangled in the web of earthly attachments? If you find yourself clinging so strongly to someone or something that you believe your existence would be jeopardized without it, the universe will inevitably show you otherwise. You'll face the difficult yet enlightening experience of being without that very thing or person, not as a form of punishment, but as a way to grow and rediscover who you are. This is the universe's way of teaching you to be your own person, complete and whole in your own right. This concept echoes through the teachings of many philosophical and spiritual traditions, from Buddhism's advocacy for non-attachment to Stoicism's encouragement for emotional resilience. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, will test your readiness to release even those things you consider vital to your identity. These tests serve to reveal whether you're placing these attachments above your soul's ultimate mission before entrusting you with larger responsibilities or greater spiritual wisdom, the universe wants to know, where does your heart lie? Is your heart so fixated on temporary earthly gains that you forget the grander journey you're on? It's a test of your focus, a questioning of who or what you serve. Are you a slave to your attachments or are you a willing participant in the grand design of life, ready to move with the flow of spiritual growth? In the words of Rumi, you were born with wings. Why prefer to crawl through life? Life is inviting you to spread your wings, to go beyond the mundane and the material, to embrace your higher calling. Every attachment you release, every idol you break, brings you one step closer to flying. The goal isn't to eliminate love or passion, but to prevent them from becoming barriers to your ultimate purpose. Remember, you are not defined by the things you hold, but by the wings you spread. Each time you successfully navigate through a spiritual test, you grow stronger, wiser, and more in tune with your true self. You come to understand that you're not just a small being in a vast universe. You are the universe, experiencing itself. That's your higher calling. That's the life larger than life itself. And that's the journey worth taking. No detours, no distractions.
the test of patience when having to wait longer than normal. In an age of immediacy, where every desire seems just a click away, the idea of waiting for something valuable has become almost outdated. We've been trained to expect quick fixes, instant results and immediate rewards. But when you find yourself on a spiritual journey, awakening to a higher calling, you quickly realize that the universe operates on a different timetable. Patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting, says Joyce Meyer. The test of patience is perhaps one of the most challenging lessons on your spiritual path, especially now when technology and modern conveniences have made us accustomed to getting what we want almost instantly. To wait can feel like torture. It feels like something is wrong. You might think, if it's meant to be, why isn't it happening now? But let's reframe this mindset. These waiting periods, these pauses, are not just empty gaps of time. They are purposeful intervals teaching us that life is filled with ebbs and flows, highs and lows. The universe sends delays not as a punishment, but as a training ground for life's inherent unpredictability. Each delay serves as a lesson, a moment for you to realize that life won't always conform to your pace or plans. But that's not a negative thing. It's an opportunity for growth. What is the universe trying to tell you during these times? It's asking you, are you willing to hang on, to wait for what you deeply desire? Or will you abandon your path because things aren't unfolding as you expected? These questions aren't meant to taunt you, but to challenge you, to strengthen your resolve, and to deepen your understanding of yourself and your journey. Remember, the universe is not making you wait to punish you or to deny you your dreams. You're asked to wait so that you can learn to appreciate what you're waiting for even more deeply when it finally arrives. Like a seed slowly sprouting from the ground, your dreams and goals need time to take root and blossom fully. There's profound wisdom in the saying, good things come to those who wait, and often, the longer the wait, the more rewarding the outcome. But how do you make this waiting less agonizing? You learn to be still, to just be, without constantly feeling the need to do something. That's when you find ease in waiting. Stillness allows you to tune out the noise, to temper your impulsive thoughts and emotions. As Eckhart Tolle teaches us, to offer no resistance to life is to be in a state of grace, ease and lightness. By slowing down you learn to hear your inner voice, to understand your own needs and desires better, and most importantly, to find peace in the present moment. And when you find peace in the present, the future becomes less daunting. With each moment you spend patiently waiting, you're not just passing time, you're accumulating wisdom, resilience, and spiritual depth. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, understands the right timing for everything. It knows when you're ready, even if you think you are or wish you were. And when that right moment finally arrives, the joy you feel will be magnified by the patience it took to get there. It will be a joy that's untainted by impatience, a joy that's richer for the wait. So when you find yourself standing at a door that seems like it will never open, remember that every moment you wait is a moment that prepares you for what's on the other side. It's a moment that's shaping you into the person who will be ready to walk through that door. And when it finally opens, you'll look back on the waiting, not as lost time, but as a vital part of your journey. Your reward will be immeasurable not just in material or tangible terms, but in the richness of depth, wisdom, and spiritual fulfillment. In life, every delay has its lesson. So wait, be still, and know that your time will come. And when it does, you'll understand why every moment was necessary. Because truly, what you're waiting for is worth the wait, and you are worth the journey. The test of faith when everything falls apart around you. In our life's journey, there are moments that feel like the universe has placed us on the anvil of hardship, striking us relentlessly until we feel like we can't take it anymore. These are the times when our faith is stretched to its limits, when the very core of our being is shaken. 
It's tempting to believe that something's gone terribly wrong. But what if this is part of a profound spiritual test? We all encounter moments where everything seems to be falling apart. It's during these exact times that our faith is not just being examined, but also being strengthened. It's easy to have faith when everything is going well. The real test is keeping that faith when you're enveloped in darkness. Faith is not the belief that God will do what you want. It's the belief that God will do what is right. God, or the universe, depending on your belief, is not just a fair-weather friend who is only present during the good times. The relationship you cultivate with a higher power is fortified and deepened during the difficult stretches of life's journey. When everything falls apart, you're left bare, open to divine influence, open to a transformative relationship that will ultimately enrich your life. It's in the toughest times that you find out what you're truly made of. Can you remain steadfast in your beliefs even when you're faced with unexpected challenges? The universe often uses these moments to check your resilience, your adaptability, and your depth of faith. It might seem harsh or even cruel, but remember, when you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person who walked in. That's what the storm is all about. Pain and hardship aren't meaningless experiences. When you feel like you're being cut down to your very core, remember that like a plant, you're being pruned. This pruning is not an act of destruction, but of love. God, or the universe, is clearing away the dead branches, the attitudes or beliefs that no longer serve you, to make room for fresh growth. The very act of cutting away these pieces requires an immense act of faith on your part. A trust that what is being removed will be replaced by something stronger, more vibrant, and more aligned with your true self. The feeling of being worked on can be deeply unsettling. Nobody likes to be torn apart, physically or metaphorically. However, these tough moments are not what they seem on the surface. The universe isn't punishing you, it's preparing you. Preparing you for what's next, for greater things that you can't even imagine right now. It Be encouraged, and seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Please like, subscribe, and may God richly bless you and your families. Shalom.